Hi, I'm Sherry. And I'm Neil. We are volunteers for the Asbury Park Music Foundation. We have volunteered for some pretty cool shows over the past few years. We really love learning and hearing personal stories from the legendary musicians we grew up listening to. Musicians like Bobby Bandiera, Vinny Lopez, Glenn Burtnick, and this week's musical guest, Jeffrey Gaines. As with everything the Music Foundation does, proceeds from the Sunday's Sound Music Series funds kids' music education program in Asbury Park. Music is a big part of my life, and I love that the Music Foundation continues to educate children through the programs it supports. Go to asburyparkmusiclives.org and support the Foundation by making a donation or purchasing some of their great merchandise. Enjoy, Enjoy the, the show! show. This is going to be fun. Jeffrey Gaines. The man. The myth. The legend. And uh, it's, it's what you should be doing on Sunday, supporting music. God bless each, each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you. So Jeffrey's uh, over there tuning up. Hey, Jeff. Jerry wrote these questions out that I should ask you. I think we talked about other stuff in the dressing room, like how many girlfriends and how many times you've been married and any grandkids, any kids. What was your first introduction to music? I'm just reading right off here. So she says, can't you embellish? I said, what am I, David Letterman? So what, what was your first introduction to music? First introduction to music in our society, if you're a kid, everywhere. First introduction to music is every cartoon had a song, like Fat Albert. I don't know how they got a band out of the junkyard, but they were playing pots and pans, and grits and gravy. Uh, you know, it was like everywhere you looked, your Pop-Tarts. You had a jingle, your, your Sesame Street, the most mod intro, the most, I love that. Gank, 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 I mean, it's a rap now, by the way. Like, I turned, I looked into it to see if I could find the Sesame Street song, and it was all, it was popping and locking, it was like, for the new, for the new breed. And I was like, I miss that monkey's ask one. Anyway. But yeah, music is everywhere you looked when I was a kid. My parents loved a lot of soul records, and they threw a lot of parties. And when your parents are throwing parties, and you're like, and you're like onesie, you're like in your little baby onesie zip-up thing with the footies in it, you sneak down to see the grown-up party, and that record is just dragging because they're playing cards and nobody knows. And it became my job at the party to go flip the record for the grown-ups. Because they were talking and playing pool and just... They, and when you're a kid also, music is the thing that's communicating to you. Can't get it in an adult conversation, you know? They put music on, it becomes their background. Before you got language, before you got friends, records become your, your, your first relationship. That's your foreground. So I'm like, I know you guys are talking over this right now, but... Donovan means it when he says, though gods they were, hail Atlantis. You're like, I want to go way down below the ocean where I want to be, she may be. And I've been chasing that she may be aspect, that dream of, you know, you know, Hendrix too, man, with the, you know, a merman, you know, yeah, it's just like, oh, man. Anyhow, it's it's appealing. It's basically it, what I'm saying. Music is so everywhere. It's hard to pinpoint where music came to me because I mean, they, you know, listen. Also, everything's musical. Everything they wanted you to learn, they lear they taught it to you by way of a song. You might not even know the alphabet unless you could sing it. You know what I'm saying? It's like they like use music to make it stick for these children. Like you know, so we're just all like la 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 la. We love that part, and then like. 
And then through that part, maybe some message will sink in. You'd be like, I love this, the melodiousness of it. And then in turn, I ended up learning something. So that's the, that's the, the tool of music, I think. As a writer and as a, a person, you try to put your message across, but also, if people don't want to be bombarded with a message, give them something they could just hum to. Later on, maybe. Maybe they'll come around to what you intended them to, the takeaway. Yes. Dude, don't, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, I was staring at this woman up front. I'm hey! Joking. No, 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 no. And that's a beautiful thing. I mean, it, it, the world influences each and every one of us in, in, in a different way. And music, for, for Jeff and I, have been that uh, the chains on a, a tire hearing that beat and it's like whoa I could do something with that I could put that in a song and yeah, man. the birds singing and not the birds the birds the, the birds <laughs> you know the birds the birds all right so what were your influences growing up who, who, who did you feel was the one that you wanted to be like or not be like so you know the things you want to be like versus the thing that you, the things that you're capable of you got to make some you got to marry those things at some point you got to you know make some so again like my parents did the soul records and the soul music and stuff jackson five oh man when i was a little kid I had a huge afro and all the aunties would be like oh don't you look like michael <laughs> and so, and we got like, you know, I'm, th I'm the youngest of three kids uh, in, that, in my family, and we had cousins, and they had three, so when to get us together, we'd have to act out the Jackson 5 for ourselves, amusement, and like, you know, once the grubs got tipsy enough, you know, we looked like, we it was working. We put the record <laughs> on, I had a tennis racket guitar, and sister had a broom, and we'd go to work. We'd go to work with steps and choreography in the basement and be like, you people are just little baby hams. What is with you? And I was mostly doing it, being the youngest of three. I'm basically, I, I'm only up here and only follow this because I was just following my sister's dominant nature. She's four years older than me. She is and was uh, the stage persona, the stage personality. I, I'm not. I would, I'm uh, kind of an introverted guy. I would rather just hide drawings and you'd never know what I was doing until I revealed it. And even when I revealed it, I wouldn't want much fanfare because I'd be on to the next drawing. Uh, but she was always in the school play. She was always like trying to get on stage. She was always in a band locally where I grew up in Harrisburg, PA. So she was always in a cover band or nothing better, by the way. Nothing, I mean, nothing better. And I won't take us away from anybody in a cover band because it's an amazing place to be because you're, you're doing a service. Uh, she would play these. She would play in this hotel bar, like in the hotel bars. People are in on business, trying to hook up, and she, her band would play songs just like they sounded, and that was the job. It wasn't like oh, it wasn't about like hey, what about your originality or what about your original songs? It's like no, we are really just trying to get this one to sound just like it sounds, so people know the steps on the dance floor. And I would go watch her work, and it was her objective to just fall inside of. Diana Ross, you know what I mean? Like, wow, you just you just become her up there doing your thing with your makeup and your moves and that. And the people just have their back to you. And that's a beautiful thing when you're a musician and it's not like, it's not about look up to me. It's like, use this music any way you can. So there's a guy just like doing his, you know, his, you know, his where he's doing his work, trying to talk this lady up to his room on the dance floor. And like, I'm like, that's great because like, they're just up there doing their music without the responsibility. And that person's down there just enjoying it for the practical usage of it. I used to say I always wanted to be an artist, but I wanted to make like chairs because I could go crazy about the detail of how impeccable my, my woodwork was. And then you could just, you could just sit down, <laughs> you know, and just be like, I'm just glad it's there to sit down. And I'm like, isn't that great? Because my objective is art and their objective is function. And just like, I just needed, I just reached blindly and found one and, and parked my ass. And I'm like, that's how I want my art to be. If I were to make any at all, I don't want, you to, I don't want people standing back and revering it. I want them to get in it, use it, utilize it, and just turn it into something that's theirs. 
Uh, that's been a hard thing because um, the singer-songwriter world uh, has turned into all this sort of, um, I go into venues and there's, like when you get your online ticket, it'll come with instructions of how to conduct yourself at the concert. Glad I'm not going to those. The, listen, I, I've just I've recently seen these because I, I was at a show. That's cuckoo. I was at a show and I was like, it was Saturday night and I was like, where, like, where, where's everybody at? Come on. Yeah. And they were like, we're afraid to yell out. Oh. We'll be scolded by the venue. We were told not to do any outbursts, no photos. Oh, no that. Mus that's what music is. You yeah, releasing but nowadays, your inner man, self. Nowadays, people are just sort of, instead yeah, of like hearing a song and going, that speaks for me. Uh, the problem I've run up against is even when a song isn't my story, like I'll write some character sketch about yeah. something I've overheard or just viewed. Mm -hmm. And then I'll sing it in the first person in order to sort of get in to embody that character, that person's sure. story. Yeah, and sure. they're like, oh, man, that happened to you? I'm like, no, you're not supposed to hear that. It's not, it's not just, hey, my, you know, I'm singing. It's not just me. It's like these are supposed to be your stories, our stories. Our you know, stories. Share, yeah, it's I like, like that. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. Jeffrey Gaines. <laughs> Jeffrey Gaines. Go ahead, brother. We have a little less volume now that I see what we're doing. In the monitors, I mean. Ever since I was a child more vocal, less guitar. I was having fun and running wild. But now I'm older and the world is growing colder. I hope I don't run out of time. Yeah. I said all I want is to be free. Will be who I'm supposed to be, yeah, yeah. Pay no mind to society, yeah, yeah. I said, all I want is to be free, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Somewhere I must have got off track Now my only aim is getting back I can't suppress or deny my happiness Somewhere we've all got to face a fact Yeah, I said all I want is to be free, yeah. Well, be who I'm supposed to be, yeah, yeah. Pay no mind to society, yeah, yeah. I said, all I want is to be free, yeah, yeah, yeah. I must get out of my head I must get out of your bed, baby I want the sun on my skin Yeah I'm tired of laying around I'm tired of feeling down Yes, I am I want so badly to begin Hey, Guitar Tech, what you feeling? All I want is to be free, yeah. Yeah. Well, be who I'm supposed to be, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pay no mind to society, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, all I want is to be free, yeah, 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 yeah. 
yeah, yeah. I sing that for Caitlin. Yeah. Let's see what I can do. I don't broke a string, so I'm gonna sing a little acapella jam. Okay. Where did I start with my music interest? I would run home from school and make sure I saw the monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could hide neath the wing of the bluebird as she sings. The six o'clock alarm would never ring, but it rings and I rise, wipe the sleep out of my eyes. My shaving razor's cold and it stays. Oh, seriously? <laughs> Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, I can't it mean to a daydream believer and a homecoming queen. You once thought of me. As a white knight on the steed But now you know how happy I can be What our good time starts and ends Without dollar one to spend But how much, baby, do we really need? Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean to a daydream believer and a homecoming queen? Sounds good. Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean to a daydream believer and a Homecoming queen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You say gospel? Listen, I've got gospel influences, but um, yeah. do I have any gospel influences? Well, my mother dressed us all up once. <laughs> she dressed us up once and we went to an Easter an Easter church visit I was for sure too young and again it wasn't our church we didn't really follow my parents were just so rock and roll they, they, they weren't up after their Saturday night <laughs> to make it to any church service so they figured, you know, if we get these kids, uh, if we get these kids on religion, then we're gonna have to tighten up our behavior. So <laughs> let's just let them raise themselves, <laughs> so we can enact a fool. It was the '70s. Yeah. Yeah. They were having too much fun to be worried about repentance. Yeah. I mean, they just moved out to the suburbs. My dad was raising his family, got three kids, got his wife. He got the wife he wanted. She said yes. She's like, I'm not going to do nothing, though, okay? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm going to work extra hard just keeping you happy. Maybe you could do the books or something. I'll show you how. You, know, you can just you know, spend my money for me. You know, keep a steak in the fridge. I don't know. Just keep this house running. You're my dream. So she just got to be fine was her job in life, just being fine. <laughs> and it was great. Me and her hung out real tight. Before school started, I mean, it was like I was her. If I take the baby, then everything, everywhere I'm going is probably going to be justified because I had the baby with me. I saw some stuff. <laughs> My mama had a relationship with a pilot that nobody really talked about, and I was too young to really put two and two together, but I know what them eyes looked like at five years old. 
So you're like, get the boy some french fries. <laughs> Airport was down by the McDonald's. You get me french fries. We're like, I ain't gonna tell now. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, my mom I wasn't completely in love with, so, you know, hey, that's how it's gonna go. I'll keep your secret. Floor getting lower for any of you? Yes. Oh man, that hurt. <laughs> so I guess what I'm about to tell you is this. Um, to answer your question, uh, the only gospel influence that I know is the Chambers Brothers. So I know the Chambers Brothers by way. That's close as I got to gospel music. <coughs> And I loved how raspy they were. I loved how, uh, whereas Motown was all dressed up. Everybody was slick, everybody had a suit. Everybody went to some sort of finishing school. And that wasn't for me. That wasn't, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna get in a suit with five other dudes and work out steps where we spin and <laughs> smile the whole show. I didn't dig that. <clears throat> so um, Chambers Brothers were ragtag. Uh, this come as you are. So I'll do something like from that. Sunshine, blue skies, please go away. A girl has found another and gone away. And with her went my feet. My life is filled with gloom So day after day I stay locked up in my room I go to you And my sound strange But I wish it would rain Rain, 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 rain. Yeah. Oh, so badly I want to go outside Everybody knows that a man ain't supposed to cry. Listen, cause I got to cry. Cause crying is the This is the thing, oh yes it does. All this hurt I feel inside, I could never explain. I just wish it would. such a mirror statement like you yeah just the, that says it about you to be saying it about somebody else it's wonderful <laughs> any requests I'm gonna make this show about you okay Long, long time ago, my mother told me, as far as she knows, 
loving was only for those who love themselves and it ain't for no one else and you've got to hold inside a certain amount of pride Long, long away from home It seems I've forgotten All that I was told And the heartache is stunning Those who love themselves Aren't enslaved to no one else And they don't have to compromise And they don't have to cover their eyes Seems I'm trapped, I can't break free Cause without you, who would I be? And I've rendered myself powerless It's my need, my cowardice She's got bruises, but she'll wear them for love He's got disease, but he'll bear it for love Don't know what Cupid was thinking of So many of us just slaves for love A long, long chain of fools And I'm in there somewhere Cause love ain't got no rules But somehow I still care For those who love themselves Even more than I love myself And though you bring me pain and sorrow I'll still be here tomorrow Yeah Yeah Yeah, yeah, seems I'm trapped, I can't break free Cause without you, who would I be? And I've rendered myself powerless, yeah It's my need, my cowardice, yeah, yeah Got bruises, but you wear them for love. He's got a new disease, but he'll bear it for love. Don't know what Cupid was thinking of. Yeah, so many of us just slaves for love. We're fools for love. Thank you. That was beautiful. I'm glad I caught that. Oh, I'm glad I caught that, man. You know, that's a beautiful thing about a show where I can see you, you know? I mean, I would have missed that at a night gig because it would have had you all in the dark and I would have just been up here playing by myself. I mean, but it's nice to see, like, you know, I mean, listen, like I said about the story I told you about my sister's band and music having a function. You know, and I can see that that satisfied you. you. You expressed it to yourself, but I was there to witness. You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> I mean, you just don't want to be, like, you know, you live your whole life, and it's very brief. Again, not to dwell on the finite, yeah, but, like, just quit internalizing. Slap me across the face. Tell me. Grab me. Collar me up and let me know something, because... Just everybody going, oh, it was, I was really moved, of course. I, I didn't want anyone, I didn't want to share it with anyone next to me or anyone, or you. I'm like, oh, man. It just starts like, for me, I'm just like, I've been super, t I've been in this folk, quieted, muted, the muted heart scene for years, but I'm coming from punk rock, you know? So it's like, you know, I'm coming from like 
punk bands. My high school band, we played punk rock. And so, you know, you just get up there and you start playing it and like kids are just, it created a pulse. It created an immediate, I don't even know how to dance yet, but I'm jumping around. I'm moving around. It's making something happen. It was like pop rocks. It was like, we just plugged in, started playing. And like, jig, 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 like everything just starts to fidget. And you're like, oh, it must be working. And keep going, louder, faster, harder, faster, louder, faster. It's fidgeting. They love it. They're sweaty. It worked, you know? But like, then I got like, you know, then when I, I moved from, I was in Harrisburg. So let me tell you about the Berg. The Berg was, when you're living in a super small town and you can sing and you get in bands, like somebody hears you, all my music entrance has been um, happenstance or something like uh, the first group I ever sang, the first thing I was invited to sing in front of other people, um, a music director, music teacher in the junior high named Mickey Cochran asked me, uh, and at that time in junior high I was being the Fonz, hardcore, I was being the Lords of Flatbush. <laughs> I was working very hard on being some sort of Matt Dillon character from one of those movies, Tex or Rumblefish or just, I mean, just really, that will happen later, but yeah, I was on that track to just be in detention a lot. <laughs> and you know, any way you can define yourself, you know, once you get good at a thing, I'm stuck now, so uh, somebody's got to get kicked out of class, and I'll, I'll do it. Um, <laughs> so I was like, so I was like leather jacketed, and I was super scary, you know, on a junior high scale. Super scary, by the way, I could tell, I was super, I could tell because the grown men teachers took me on like a man in a, in a nightclub, like, I was, like, they would be like, I'm going to kick your, you know, and I'm like, I'm in eighth grade. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, but you've infuriated me like a, like a parking lot fight. And I'm like, that's so weird. You're supposed to, who, someone's supposed to be the professional here. It, it shouldn't be me. And I'm like, just watching these guys go red in the face. And I'm like, so anyway. It took so much courage for Mickey Cochran to say, hey, Fonzie, you feel like singing in our variety band? I know it's not your thing. You probably don't even like the band kids. You might even call them, you know, such a little, yeah, you might not even get them. They're super nerdy. But none of them are, uh, everyone's afraid to go sing. So you seem to be singing through the hallways and don't even care who's listening. Um, so do it. Let me kind of bring it into a forum. So I got there and I was singing. This is great, man. I, my audition, um, I sang Little Dreamer, just a cappella Little Dreamer, Van Halen track. I even played, I sang that wow, 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 wow. I did, played the guitar, I sang the guitar part, and then he's like, oh, you're in. And um, so we went to other, other junior high schools and we went to, like, uh, played the mall. And yeah, so it was like that. That was like my first sort of like, it, when you went to another junior high and you played their auditorium and you could hear the, ooh, oh, ooh, from like, you're like, yeah, mm, mwah, I like that. Oh, yeah, you know. So they had me, they had me write that. And then later on, you know, I was like always too young to be in the group, but like, you know, other bands, working bands around the area would be like, you can come in and do two sets, but then you gotta get out. You can't even be in the bar unless you're singing. I'm like, I would do it just to be singing anything and everything. Um, so getting a uh, you know, reaction means a lot to me. Um, and I'm not saying fake them. <laughs> fake, 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 fake. I don't think like, oh, yeah, woo-hoo. <laughs> I don't mean that, but like when it's true, and it's like, I really appreciate that. So, And I know you didn't do it for my appreciation, but yada, yada, yada. Here's one I sort of like, you know, when I got through that whole bully, bad boy period, which I still sort of like. I mean, I, I blame it on my mother. She used to take me to the dri drive-in movies and we'd see uh, Bill Smith and all these uh, angels, these biker exploitation films, of these biker films, and this guy, William Smith, was her, uh, I'd see, oh, she likes him. So you gotta somehow figure out a way to be the leader of the pack, going straight, you know, on a highway to hell, you know. <laughs> Yeah, my mom don't like a good boy, so yeah. It's all like that. It's all you can trace everything back to everything. But um, I was a good boy with a, I was a bad boy with a conscience. It's the Virgo in me. I realized they meant no harm, and that they'd seen the truth. 
These men and women, young and old, who tried to mold my youth, they were only teaching me how to get through life, how to punch the clock and get it home and get away. They knew I was searching for things I'd never find. So they tried to break my mind by paddling my behind all for the love of an innocent mind. They were the blind, the lead of the blind, all for the love of molding young minds. But they were too kind. Headmasters of mine They themselves were products Of a past society They themselves were victims Of the same atrocity yeah. I realize I must forgive But I will never forget these men and women, young and old, and forever in your debt. They were only teaching me how to run the race and fill my position with a smile upon my face. And don't ask a question if it isn't from the text. Throw me out into the hole. And ask who wants to be next All for the love of an innocent mind But they were the blind Believe in the blind, yes All for the love of molding your minds But they were too kind Had masters of mine It's really sick So much is wasted There's so much food for thought That never is tasted Just read the instructions And fill out the form And whatever you do, my son Don't stray from the norm All for the love Innocent mind, but they were the blind, leading the blind. Yes, all for the love of molding your minds. But they were too kind, and masters of mine. Thanks so much. You know, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one right now. That was like, like I can feel it. Like there's a feeling like in, in its composition when you write a song like that and you're dreaming up a dream and you're writing it, you're misspelling everything in your five subject notebook deal. Like I said, I was a bad student. Got good intentions, but I can't spell it. Um, yeah, they're throwing money. Anyway. But what it is like when you can like when you get the thing going and it's going good, it gets visual. And then the movie appears. And so every time I'm singing that, man, oh, it's just it's the desert. I'm the last, I'm the lone rider. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the lyrics, but <laughs> but it's just like, man, that's 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 really cool. That's that. That's a lonesome stranger. That's pretty good. Hey, this is the doctor bag, the infamous doctor bag. Um, 
was a fan gave it to me. She was using it as a purse at a club. Yeah, and I said, hey, that's a pretty cool pack, man. That's neat. She said, you like it? And she dumped the contents. <laughs> she dumped the contents right on the table. And her girlfriend scooped up her stuff and put it into her big jumbo sort of, you know, boho baggy thing. And she says, I want you to have it then. And like, so of course, because of that gesture, I mean, I now have to carry this for the rest of my life. <laughs> I was like, well, that was pretty significant. So I'm going to use it for my gig bag forever. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just, you know, gesture like that. You got to answer it. All right. Um, but it does set up a lot of questions and people think, it could, you know, it just sets up a lot of, hell, the doc's in. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of stuff, but, uh, yeah. Comment on the skirt? That's funny. Skirts. <laughs> That's hilarious. I didn't think about that. I should have thought about that. It was a Friday night. <laughs> what was wrong with me? Yeah, I'm always the last to know in those good areas. But you know, I thought, you know, we, what we're talking about up here is being, uh, not being presumptuous uh, about, you know, what I can get away with. I don't think I can get away with much. And so if I do get away with anything rock and roll, you really will have to bring it to my attention. Uh, that's what I used to say. Because, I mean, again, a grown up, uh, when I grew up, in it sort of, um, it just didn't work out. Um, I grew up, I'm old enough now that there was like, you know, segregation was a new thing and new neighborhoods were mixing and, and a lot of dads weren't feeling it. So, you know, a uh, ladies choice skate in the seventh grade could leave me just waiting at the end of the skating rink because who be so bold as a seventh grader to date interracially when their father's like, you might not be able to live here if, you, if you're holding hands with Jeff Gaines outside of skating when I come pick you up, so. That taught me very quickly, like, just don't go presuming nothing. Because, and it's so, uh, you know, maybe nowadays, keeps me out of the Me Too movement. Keeps me, <laughs> I mean, it, it works in my favor. I mean, I'm like, hey, you know what? Go digging. I was the last to know. <laughs> I would never make a first move ever. So we're good. <laughs> Hey, happy birthday, thank you. You know, I, I, I don't really, you know what I mean? I, um, I don't really mention it much, but I appreciate that you even knew that it was there because I, I hid my birthday on the, on the social media. Like, not like the, the, not like the date, not like the, the year, but I mean like everything. So it doesn't even, <laughs> it doesn't signify that I'm having a birthday today. But I noticed, oh, well, it's not today, no, no, I mean, no. <laughs> When it would be, when it would have been activated, it would, it, it, I, uh, I deactivated it. Um, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a real happy birthday giver. I love uh, to see other people have a, have the best day. I'm a, I love to see everybody else live their best life. I like to encourage you to live your best life. And just know that I won't be there with you. But <laughs> when you're climbing Mount Kilimanjaro, I am right there with the like button going, yeah! <laughs> or when you're you bringing your new child or grandchild into the world, yeah, ain't she beautiful? I'll be home on the couch watching Mannix, <laughs> and in the in the freezing cold of my my ice box apartment. But I sometimes get guilty about what I about my in my, my 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 flirting with the disaster. Um, not utilizing my able-bodiedness. I feel sometimes bad about it, most times bad about it. And really, it's brought to my attention when I see somebody who's got all the odds against them and their will is so strong that they're, they still remain unstoppable. And I just remarked about how, oh, the floor is so low. <laughs> and this guy's place, yeah, anyway. <laughs> It's been years He's been here And time just lingers And no one knows He's got eyes He's got ears He 
he's got all his fingers and all his toes. This is a life of observation. Maybe one day you'll get to translate this information. For 20 years he hasn't spoken a word. He's been silent since the accident occurred. Well, so many people taking tongues for granted, taking the truth, finding ways to slant it. I know a man who knew what to do. And so many people go day in, day out. Just dream out of things they can bitch about I know a man who know what to do It's a dream For him it's real And it never goes away And it never will He's in touch yeah, With what he feels Oh, but he just can't say it Maybe it's better still yeah. This is a life of endless frustration He's got his pride He's not exempt from humiliation Can't lift a finger to stop what's wrong And he can't lift a leg to dance to a Beatles song so many people taking spines for granted Slytherin squirm taking what they handed I know a man who knew what to do and So many people go day by day Sitting on their ass constantly complaining I know a man who knew what to do Tend to exist like sheep Never scratching the surface Of themselves too deep I know a man Who know what to do yeah. and So many people Like you and me Never realizing what our lives Could be I know a man Who know what to do Thank you. All kind of percussion over there, man. There's all kind of stuff if you feel it. I won't shoot you down. I mean, I mean, at least a tambourine. I think. He can handle his business. Man, we got one. All right. Come on, baby. I've been walking around with my head in the clouds, thinking only of you and the weather when and how. So long overdue, a memories that me through, yeah. Brief, caring dream of you and I laying around in the sand by the sea, yeah. With the sun going down, well, it's just you and me, the way it's supposed to be, yeah. Playing this night in my mind over and over, yeah. And what I do to get back is hit rewind all over again. Yeah. You've been 
in every thought Run around in my head I wish I could just run on To be with you instead Time apart goes so slow After my daydreams I go yeah, yeah. I keep playing the snap In my mind Over and over yeah. What I do to get by Is it rewind All over again Yeah, yeah. That's the end of the first set, y'all band would actually stay up on stage and they would keep this groove and that would walk off real cool but it's just me so Mr. Fantasy play us a tune yes something to make us all happy yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Thank you. So where are we going after this? Thank you. It's the beach. something there that goes through your head you don't want to know what goes through my head but uh i got a couple more songs for jeff uh who do you listen to now aside from having to listen to this what i'm doing oh you know the the now listening it's a good, interesting question because who do you listen to now? So just the word now makes you think of it might possibly be something new. But I listen to Little Stevens Underground Garage. Yeah. Oh. And I listen to Garage Rock from the 60s. And it's not like, so it's odd to say now because everything now. I'm listening to is then, really. That's, you know that's what, what Jerry wrote. Where is she? But yeah, I mean, uh, St Stevens a good dog. Uh, yeah, a good man. guy to listen to now, and whatever he's playing is the now. It's uh, like, yeah, it's an education. And it's the then, but, yeah. you know, but he, he, he does a good job getting people in the mix, yeah. you know, on his radio station, new artists, and, and uh, along with the old stuff. But, uh, and all right, what has music meant to your life? Glad I'm not answering these questions. Uh, for me, you know, music, look, uh, music has meant to my life, uh, it, it's the birth and being of my life. I think there was no, there was nothing else I was going to do. There's nothing else I was going to, there's not one other thing that I was uh, going to do, uh, you know, so... Without music, it wouldn't have any 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 identity, any existence, any any uh, passport to the world, and any of the experiences that I've ever embraced or you know 
all the wow experiences have been by way of music. Um, growing up in Harrisburg, PA, you know, I could have, uh, I probably could have taken over my dad's uh, residential, commercial, carpet laying business. That's funny, my father. We had two vans, yeah. you know, we yeah. had vans with the name on the side. It was cool. It's a yeah. real cool thing to do. And uh, I probably could have done that, you know. Um, Bruce uh, has a, an SUV with a, a magnet sign on the side. It says, I'm Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> and you see it when he drives by. Did you ever see that? <laughs> Maybe he just parks it in his driveway. You know? That's pretty good. Yeah. But, you know, like, so music has meant everything. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's been the keys to, uh, to, to, to the doors. Uh, I get to travel around, and there's nothing better than sort of, again, not being an outgoing person, but having your music beat you to the shores that you will one day go land on. And, you know, you're received really well and welcomed by people that have come out of the woodwork uh, to greet you. Yeah. <laughs> and you're just like, you know, well, that helps. That's so, I love that the songs and, and music... Uh, open the door for the beginnings of relationships and all of the things that I've had be have been because and I don't mind you ever see people who are doing something like music or, or they have some sort of career that adds a touch of limelight to their existence and then they get to they get in their scrutinizing if somebody likes them for them or they like them for the th stuff I'm like man I hope to hell they like me for the stuff <laughs> you know because uh you know, a lot of times it'd be like, oh, I just wanted to, you know, I was thinking there'd be something more underneath that. I'm like, no, stick with the other, stick with this superficial stuff. That's where it's at. <laughs> there isn't anything underneath. There's no... <laughs> That's true. Like, you'd be like, oh, I can't believe she likes me for my music. I'm like, well, what else is the factor? Like, <laughs> like it's not like, oh, man. Boy, I mean, if I wasn't here today, man, I, I would, yeah, I just, it, a Three Stooges Marathon would be on. And I'd just be like, I'm just in the cut, my little couch, and I would just be so completely satisfied with earth and existence and everything. Just like, oh, man, followed by little rascals? Oh, no. I'm not going nowhere. So I'm really thankful that music gets me out into the world. I'd just be sequestered. And if I could pay for cable somehow... Trust me, let me tell you how heartbreaking it was. My, my dream job as an adolescent, you know, right before I was about to get a job, right before when I was 14, and I'm like, man, I'm going to get a job. I knew exactly what the job was, man. Okay. And then they took it away. You never go to like the old grocery store parking lot and you see that little Kodak box. There's that like drop your film off box in the parking lot. And I'm like... This is it for That's me. That's the job. Man. It's the best job, non-co-worker job. Doesn't this is, pay benefits. That's it. I'm just like, That's I'm in a box. Healthcare. I got that foreigner record that was just on. This table back here, you knew what I was talking about. You're like, I was like, oh, I'm just going to turn up my tunes in my Kodak box. People are going to drive by and go, could you develop these? It's like, yeah. Bye. And then I could voyeuristically, like I do on Instagram, just, just, wow. That Honolulu honeymoon is amazing. She looked good, right? I'd just be sitting there, here's your film, here's your film, all day long, just like, you know, and I'd be so content, and like, bye, end of the day. I just played rock tunes loud, developed film, looked at pictures, and that would be my life without music. I mean, music was it would be part of that, but once I figured I could do it, and, um, singing along to Elton John in the back of the station wagon. Nobody said, shush. They're like, he's blending. He's not messing it up. Let him go. And you're like, man, this is great. And so th I'm very thankful for, uh, I'm very thankful to have grown up in a society. Because again, you grow up and you see that, like, you know, you say, who are the adults to, who, like, what, where do you want to be in the world? And you just, man, look at how these guys are being revered for that skill set. I have that skill set. Maybe there's a chance I could sit on, you know, Dick Cavett's couch and, and you know, mumble incoherently <laughs> with cool bell bottoms on and, you know, blah, blah, blah. and then they go to commercial. I don't know. I was like, this is great. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, all those guys got to, they got to remain uh, rogue. And, you know, Keith Richards could just be oblivious. <laughs> just with, like, an amazing boa on. <laughs> Shades. His own just, just, like, milk bottle of Jack Daniels. And just <laughs> someone pointing him to his airplane. And he was like, all he had to do was get to the next town and put this thing on. I was like, man, for a loafer, for a, for a you know, a, a slacker kind of guy, that seems like the geek for me. If you're not a musician, see what you, you're missing. <laughs> see what you're missing. That's what our life is. God bless us, Jeff. Let me have a little more click on the guitar, a little top. When I was going through the crowd. Everybody was reminding me about church. The church conversation never stopped. I was born by the river, yeah, in a little old tent. But just like that river I've been running ever since. It's been a long time coming, but I know, I know. Change gonna come, boy, yes it will. It's been too hard to live in, but I was afraid to die. Cause I don't know what's up there, what's up there beyond the sky. It's been a long I'm coming, but I know, I know a change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. And when I go to the movie and I go downtown, there ain't no use in me yeah, yeah, hanging around. It's been a long, yeah, yeah, yeah. Time coming, but I know, I know the change has got to come. Boy, yes, it will. But then I go to my brother. Brother, brother, help me please Yeah, yeah, yeah Well, he always ends up Knocking me Knocking me on On my knees Yes, there's been times Times that I thought Thought I wouldn't last for long but Somehow I was able, yes I was To carry on It's been a long Time are coming but I know I know Change has got to come Oh yes it will Yes.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, you know, you, you get together, you really haven't played together. You know that he's a guy on the scene. Shit, I'm going to be 66. I've been a guy on the scene. And you just pull a song out of the air and just hang and play and sing and make it happen. And that's what we do. That's what we do. That's part of who we are. But it comes from uh, all the years trying to figure out who that artist was and why they wrote it, how they put it together. And then it turns into you doing it, putting it together for yourself, singing, playing, writing. And Jeffrey's got it all together. God bless him. about a place somewhere off of New York way where the people are so gay twisting the night away man you have a lot of fun put trouble on the run man you find the old and young twisting the night away twisting twisting Everybody's feeling great Oh, Tristan, Tristan, Tristan the night away There's a man in even the crows How we got her, I don't know But, oh man, you want to see him go Tristan the night away He's dancing with the chicken sledge She's a moving up and back. Oh man, there ain't nothing like twisting the night away. Twisting, twisting. Everybody's feeling great. Oh, twisting, twisting. Twisting the night away. Tell them, baby. There is a man 
asking questions Is this a really the end of the world? Sing you must have known for a long time The shape of things to come Now you fly through the sky And you fly all around Till somebody yeah, yeah, shoots you down ah, yeah. Seeker, you fly across the horizon into the misty morning sun Nobody asks you where you are going Nobody knows where you're from Now you fly through the sky Never asking why And you fly all around Shoot you down solo all the time don't go you sure stay with me okay no, seriously man I mean I, last time I had a band was 1994 so I got like solos happening over here and like harmonizing over here this is great you ain't got nowhere to go really right do you we, 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 just stay with me the whole time I'm uh, I'm feeling my way through Doing just a job, just man. like every day that's it that's it Oh, I'm coming down off that high. Hang on a minute. I felt great, man. So I got some requests. I forgot them already, because, you know... Yeah, that's the thing. I'm not very good. I'm not a good student. Wouldn't I... Yeah, I mean... It's kind of too pretty a day for dust in the wind. I don't know that. But it's too pretty. It's just too pretty a day. I couldn't even come back from that. If I knew that and sang it. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. So lost sometimes days pass and this emptiness fills my heart when I want to run away I drive off in my car but which way I choose I come back to the place you are and all my instincts they return and the grand facade is the sun will burn without a noise without my pride I reach out from the inside Oh, 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 in your eyes, like the 
the heat I am complete I see the noise to a thousand churches in resolution of all my fruitless searches Oh, I see the light and the heat Yes, I want to be that complete I want to touch the light the heat I see in your eyes I don't like to see so much pain So much wasted And each moment is slipping away I get so tired Working so hard for our survival But I look to these times with you and you and you It keeps me awake and alive And all my instincts, they return And the grand facade so soon will burn Without a noise Without my pride, I reach out from the inside. Oh, oh, in your eyes, the light, the heat, I am complete. I see the doors to a thousand churches, the resolution. Of all my fruitless searches Oh, I see the light and the heat Yes, I want to be that complete Want to touch the light and the heat I see in your eyes Your eyes Your eyes Hey, it just feels good. You know, a lot of times people, you know, like to remark there's a little bit of a, there's a little bit of clusters of little pockets of uh, peanut gallery that go on and say, oh, he hates doing that song. I don't, you know, I don't hate singing. Like, I mean, I, you know, I don't go any, I don't go through any, emotional turmoil singing somebody else's song. I, I wasn't infatuated with Roseanne Arquette. <laughs> I mean, that's his pain when he sings that. Although when I was in Europe, I do I say to myself every time I'm passing an old cathedral, I just say, the doorway to a thousand churches? <laughs> really? I mean, she's foxy, but wow. <laughs> he was moved. He was, yeah. That's you know, that's what I saw. I mean, he wrote, he wrote could this. happen. It could happen. Yeah, but I mean, hasn't happened to me. But it could, could happen. Yeah. Well, I, I was married twice. Yeah. I was divorced twice. Oh, see, so, that comes with it. So it comes with it. <laughs> well, listen, man. I, I, uh, I never made it past the, through the courtship. So I never gotten married because it takes a longer duration before you can pop the question. And by the time popping the questions come around, I've been kicked out already. <laughs> I've already messed up. You're a smart man. I mean, you. I, no. I, <laughs> you know, I'm always try, I'm trying to. Sorry. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to get it right. But, man, I don't know. So am I. <laughs> <clears throat> 
I got a good, I got a good, if, if, yeah, like, remember the other night, Friday the 13th, full moon, stars out? I'll make, Halloween's coming. I'll make that the whole relationship. <laughs> that midnight to six is just, we're going to live the whole thing. It's, it's different strokes for different folks. It's, but that works. It works for you. That it worked works for me. For a while. It worked for me a couple of times. Fireflies lit the night. I was holding you so tight. Nothing else could feel so right. It felt like falling. I took your breath into my lungs. You and I became one. There ain't no place we can run from this calling And I accept an unexpected surprise And I am thankful for what you are bringing to my life Yeah Well tonight Gonna love you like there ain't no tomorrow Yeah well tonight Gonna love you down in Firefly Hollow Yeah Thunder crashes above Below flashes of love Cast a glimpse on what's to come Your body trembling Summer symphony is sound Playing soft in the background we get lost in what we found What we assemble in And I adventurously go Where I am led Listening only to my heart And not my head Yeah Well tonight Gonna love you like there ain't no tomorrow Yeah well tonight Gonna love you down in my fly Adventurously go where I live Listening only to my heart And not my head Well tonight I'm gonna love you like there ain't no tomorrow Yeah Well tonight I'm gonna love you down in Yeah, well tonight Gonna love you after the rain No tomorrow Yeah, well tonight Gonna love you down in fire Thank you, man. What you want to hear, people? Oh, man, it's all covers. I'm happy. I'm happy about that. You may not. You were like, where's the original stuff? If I could figure out the pleasing everyone that I would be someplace. I would, I would no longer get those, those we're going to cut off your cable notices. 
You know, I tell you what type. Like when I say stuff like that, people like I've, I've, I'll say something like that that's true, and then somebody would be like, "Oh, I, his show was cool until he started telling me about how he doesn't have any money." I'm like, "I ain't doing that for like. I'm just. It's just a fact to me. I'm getting notices to turn. I, can't, I ain't trying to. You know, like you can like sometimes a surprise, uh, unbeknownst to me, you'd be turning people's, you'd be turning people's experience. They'd be like, "I got my own bills. I want to hear about yours." I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm sorry. I mean, I, it's going to be real hard for me to create a fantasy for you when I took four buses and a transfer. And I'm like, no, I'm just kidding. That's me. Huh. I'm like, yeah, they'd be like, yo, bring me the fantasy. I'm like, seriously? So anyway, so anyhow, here's one, uh, you know, inspiration. People always want to know, like, why do you write songs, where they come from? Like I said before, they're not always, they're so not about my life. I don't live enough life, I don't live enough life to keep writing songs about me. Like I said, I'm home a lot, so I don't write it, I don't live enough to have experiences to sing about. So I'll take some of yours. I'll take some of the things I see, things I witness, things I'm, I'm aware of. And uh, they run through your filter, and even though you think you're writing about one thing, you still won't get that. A it won't be an accurate, d direct, uh, you know, here's the direct manuscript or something. You know, it's, your, it's yours. It's through your filter. But I was watching Biography, stuck in a hotel room. And, you know, Biography, man. Like, come on. Bring it on. I got nowhere to go. I'm in Cleveland. It's a day's in, and this is the channel I got. It's a biography channel, and like, who's a... Somebody starts telling me the long, long, long woven story of Sonia Henny, who I'm like, I don't know that I really ever knew her or needed to hear her story, but damn. You know. Wow. And at the end of it, I'm like, thank God for Cable, because I don't know, I would have never seen that. I never would have written this song. I'm, I'm into this song about what I think was one thing, and it's about another. Please do not disturb her She's hoping to put her affairs in their place Looks in the mirror Not much fun coping with all the new lines on her face The fact is she's lonely She makes the rules, surrounds herself with fools Throws around all her money but that's what it takes to whitewash your mistakes from view Still one ambition remains An aching hunger denied To live life as mother and wife To know someone loves her inside Yeah, Won't somebody love her inside, yeah Dreams like only a child can Beaming with light, the most wonderful sight in the world But wakes from her slumber more onion than pearl And she's nobody's little blind girl The fact is she never Recognized others Not sisters or brothers or you But words will not hurt her Cause all she perceives is All she believes to be true Still she sits staring all alone Prisoner of her bullshit pride In a castle she will never call home Until somebody loves her inside Yeah Won't somebody love her inside Yeah Won't somebody love her Still she sits there and all alone A prisoner of her foolish pride In a castle she will never call home 
She's given us uh, a high sign that we've got to uh, vacate the, the premises. But, you know, look, there's next time. There's next time, right? Right, Jeff? No. There's no next time? <laughs> Fuck it. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, let's go. I mean, I guess if you guys are out of tape or do you got to get out of this room or something? Because if the show's over, that's cool. I don't know. You tell, I mean, is that like really hard? Uh, hard over? Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. I thought maybe she was, the pasta was ready. It's not going to be al dente. It's Sunday. It, it, it's Sunday. You don't yes. Mess with it won't be al dente if we stay. You do not want to mess with All right. That. All right. So that's not the case. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I wasn't keeping track, but I, I, I wouldn't want to leave on the Sonia Henny jam. We're having, <laughs> having too much fun. It'd be like, everybody just be like this. <laughs> Like, like lights green, fella. You're just like, man, that, that last song, though. Yeah, I don't want to like go like that. So. Listen, uh, JeffreyGaines.com. That's where that's where I find out where I'm playing. I go there and I click the thing that says tour, and then it comes up where I'm at next, and then I know, and then you'll know, and we'll get together. I'll sing more songs. Thank you for coming. Thanks for spending a little weekend Sunday with us. Jeffrey Gaines. You're welcome, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Sound great. It's a sing along. As I walk through this wicked world, searching for light in the darkness of insanity, I ask myself. Is I hopeless? Is there only pain and hatred and misery? And each time I feel like this inside, there's one thing I want to know. What's so funny about peace, love, and understanding? Oh, what's so funny about peace, love, and understanding? As I go on through troubled times, that's where it gets so downhearted sometimes. So where I saw who I would trust now And where is that Harmony Sweet harmony And each time I feel it's slipping away Just makes me want to cry What's so funny about this love and understanding What's so funny about this love 
my first single. Um, first single selected by um, the label. Uh, and yeah, okay. I like them all. That's what I said. I like them all. Well, we're going to go with this one. I'm like, okay, I like them all. Um, but it was an interesting thing because, I mean, you know, to enter the music world with, a, with, a, with, a, with, um, with perfect nonchalance. It's just such a listen, don't listen type of song, just in its delivery. I remember making Regis just so uncomfortable. <laughs> Regis is a song and dance man, and I'm on Regis' show, and he's like, get nervous. <laughs> We're about to go on. Is he ready? I can't tell if he's ready. <laughs> That's all he's going to do. He's just sitting. Is he ready? So he was just unnerved. Was like he, he's like, who comes home with a waltz? <laughs> he was right. <laughs> but I'm glad I found you deep within the cracks of the record store, the miscellaneous G section of the record store. You found me. He's lived as long as he possibly can Given the circumstance Cause he's protected himself from the world He never gave it a chance And he says Here in my security I put a limit on my self-potential and my possibility Yeah, 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 yeah She's seen these walls and they never change Everything's in its place Her relationships so neatly arranged down to religion and race and she says here in my security I don't make a move unless my friends approve I do what's expected of me and as I grow older and there's so much that I do not know I'm drawn to those who are bolder And go where no one dare to go And I sleep In a dream of the person I might have been Then I'll be free again And I'll speak Like a someone who's been to the highest peaks Yes, I'm back again And I swear that my grass is greener than anyone's Till I believe again Then I wake And the dream fades away And I face the day And then realize That there's got to be some hero in me There's got to be some hero in me There's got to be some hero in me
They've been suppressing their every desire They do nothing on a whim She's lost the sparkle and he's lost the fire But their future looks very dim And I say, here in my security I've simply let myself go I've developed a codependency And as I grow older So many places that I've never been But time's tapping my shoulder I hope it's never too late to begin And I sleep in a dream of the person I might have been and I'll be free again And I'll speak Like a someone who's been to the highest peaks Yes, and back again And I sway off The my grass is greener than anyone's Till I believe again And I wake And the dream fades away And I face the day And then realize there's got to be some hero in me 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 yeah. <laughs> Thank you That's all, man. God bless you for coming in. And I sleep in a dream of the person I might have been. But now I'll be free again. And I'll speak like a someone who's been to the highest peaks. Yes, and back again. And I swear that my grass is greener than anyone's. Till I believe again Then I wake And the dream fades away And I face the day And then realize That there's got to be Some hero in me There's got to be Some hero in me There's got to be Some hero